Hello Cartoon Bus fans, we have another Churro Q here, and this is actually a real bus, as you can see in the photographs. Anyways, let's take a look. It's called a Hino Poncho. Hino is a bus company in, in Japan, I believe. And it's got some tape. It's obviously used. Just looking for a date. Yeah, 2000... Oh, hold on. Maybe focus? No, nope, never focuses. 2008 is when this toy came out. I'm not sure why the box says pink. Oh, maybe there's a yellow version, because there is a yellow bus. These buses are running around a place called Higashima, which is in the Shiga Prefecture, which is kind of in the middle of Japan, from what Google Maps is telling me. ST08, that means standard 2008, I guess. Alright. So I'm going to guess this might be used. It's definitely old. The I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but the white of the roof is yellowed, and it's not as white as it probably was when it was new. So this is a cute little bus. Did a little research because I've never seen this bus before. And Wikipedia says this is the second generation of the Hino Poncho. And this thing is powered in the rear by a 5.1 liter inline 4, which seems odd. So each cylinder is like 1.25 or a little bit more than that uh, liters. That's a big that's a big piston and stroke. Anyways, it's supposed to be turbo, turbocharged and intercooled as well. And then uh, 7 to 8 meters long, different variations, I guess. Alright. So, looking at this now, we got some cool bus uh, kind of wheels here, so that's good. And then uh, the printing is all tampos. So these rainbows and all that stuff. No decals or stickers, which is nice. A little reflector, some venting. I'm going to guess these windows also, this black molding is probably tampo printed as well. And then the front, we have some molded in lights, painted silver, and then the grill is just painted gray. And then we have a 210. So I'm going to guess this is actually accurate to that photograph. It might actually be that first photograph. I think that might say 210 on the license plate. That's the Hino logo, handicap access. What is this text underneath the handicap thing? Oh, Hino Poncho. Okay. Under this magnification, the paint looks a little rough there. Maybe it wasn't applied very well. Painted on wiper blades there. The molding is painted black. There seems to be some molded in vents or something up here, but it's hard to see, see them. It's a really cloudy window. Hmm. Some seats molded in. Uh, I guess there's supposed to be a door right here, but it's so foreshortened that it's not there at all. <laughs> so, this is the window. This is supposed to be the door, I guess, but obviously the wheel wheel is taking up. I kind of feel like they didn't need to make the wheel wheel this wide. They could have had it smaller and then maybe had tiny a tiny door. And same with this wheel wheel. It just doesn't need to be this wide. Okay, printed on uh, lights and stuff as well. We have a Hino badge here, Hino poncho, the third brake light. And then, uh, that's alright, we have some air conditioning units up top there. Maybe you can see here, you know, it looks scratched. So yeah, I think this has definitely been played with. It's an old model here. The uh, bottom of this says 07 though. So clear base screw and a tab there. These are wind-up toys, and the motor, yeah, the motor still works. All right, let me get some other buses. We'll compare this to a few other cartoony buses. All right, well, let's see. I got this Renault bus. It's a community bus. Uh, internet says this is some sort of community bus, and so that's why it's not so long. All right, so it's supposed to be a small one. But here's some other buses that I think are supposed to be long, but they're churroed out, so they're really short. That's a city bus. Don't know what kind of bus, though. I think this one, did I say Renault? I think that logo looks like a Renault. This one, I have no idea. I'm sure it's accurate to a bus. Same with this one, because they have green license plates with numbers on them. And, yeah, that first photograph has a green license plate with three numbers. All right. So each of the castings here are different. Alright, 
let's let these guys spin on its own. Let this guy spin on its own now. Thing wants to take off. I got a pink lady with a gun. <laughs> I don't know where she's from. I I don't know what franchise. But anyways. This is a cool looking bus. It's a cool Cherokee. There's a lot of details molded in. Uh, the sides and the back are very flat, They're, but the roof and the front are, have a lot of three-dimensionality to them, so it's the surfacing that is. So I guess they had to cut corners somewhere. Anyways, it's another interesting casting, and it's nice to know that's a real thing. Alright, well, if you like buses, this one was for you. If not, uh, sorry. I'll catch you around. See you at the next station.